Hello there, ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to some more virtual reality games. This is not the Oculus Rift. This is the Valve HTC Vive or Vive or whatever way you pronounce it. I have no idea. So this is a new one that's coming out. I was very lucky enough to get one early, and as you can see, it's a bit different than the Oculus Rift. We've used the Oculus Rift before, but it was a bit of a pain in the arse to use because it's hard set up. It's hard get ready for recording. The software wasn't there. It was just it was just a disaster all over the place. You had to sit down to use it. This one, I have two cameras in the room. You can see one of them up here, and there's another one right here. So it maps out your play space. So I have the entire floor of my room to be able to play, and I have no idea how this is going to record. I have two cameras going, so I hope it's good. And I'm going to play something called Aperture Robot Repair, which is one of the Steam VR demos that it comes with. And there's a lot to talk about, okay? So you have the headset, you have the cameras. So they track each other around the place, and you can go around the entire game world the entire little room that you're in, but I also have these two controllers, which look really, really weird, and, and they're but they're and they're kind of weird to use, but they're really, really well tracked. So when you get into a game, like you can actually see them on screen, they move so well. There's almost no lag to them, and because these things track the room, then I can walk around the entire space. So I'm sorry if this doesn't record well. I have no idea how it's going to go because I'm not used to using like two cameras and having to stand up and walk around and all these kinds of things so I'm going to stick on the headset and my headphones the, the headset itself has like a headphone jack on the back so all your cables are coming out the back of this so I can still use my regular headphones and I can actually see the controllers on the ground like if I push them they move around oh that is so cool I don't think it matters if I actually switch these around okay so we have to charge our our sticks I don't know how I do that. Get to a charging station. Where is the charging station? It's, oh! Good. Your multi tools have it's fully you. irradiated. Please remove your radiation suit at this time. Radiation no suit? Detected. Good. <laughs> there is a cabinet of drawers in your repair Whoa. station. Please locate it and open a drawer. Okay, uh, open a drawer. Okay, uh, this one. Yeah, this one. Good. Now close the drawer and open the correct drawer. That <laughs> Locate and open the correct drawer. <laughs> now close the drawer and open up the correct drawer. Okay, got it. Uh, next one. Good. Okay. Now practiced on two incorrect drawers. Please open the correct drawer. <laughs> Come I opened up the correct drawer. Holy shit. Like, the resolution on this thing is really, really good. I really feel like I'm drawer. in this room. Apart from the stuff like glitching out every now and then, like it not tracking properly and going blue. But Jesus Christ, like looking at these then everything blurs in the background. This is incredibly impressive. I can actually adjust this stuff here. I don't know if that's actually showing up on screen, but I can adjust like the, the distance between the lenses inside as well. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, open up the last drawer. Good. As explained in your orientation, Whoa. you should of course never look directly into the drawer. Oh. The sensors indicate you are currently looking directly into the drawer. I am. You have just interfered with an amateur science pocket universe cabinet. You are now their god. <laughs> Close the drawer to initiate contaminated pocket oh universe my emergency protocol. God, that is awesome! They actually look like they're right there! And you can see like this blue barrier comes up. That's my actual wall in my room. Close so I can walk around this entire space and go up and like look right in on top of things sometimes. It's really cool. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um okay, close the drawer. Good. Contaminated pocket universe incinerate. What? Any drawers has been removed from your list of responsibilities. You incinerated them! Door lever and pull it. Door lever. What am I listening to? What can I hear? Can I, like, jiggle you? Grab Please him. locate and pull the lever. Grab him. Grab this guy. Oh. <laughs> digga, 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 digga. <laughs> Who's looking now, huh, big brother? Um, okay. Door lever. Now serving. One. Got it. Atlas or Peabody? I can't remember which one you are. Peabody? Hi! What's it going? Oh god! Oh god, no! Oh my god, it's so weird to see you like right there! You're way bigger than I expected you to be! No, back up now! Back up! Stay there! What are you doing? Good Jesus! As you can see from the schematic hologram, all Aperture brand robots can be repaired by Whoa. anyone with even a rudimentary understanding of advanced electromechanical engineering. Whoa! To begin repairing this unit, attach your multi-tool to its faceplate and pull as forcefully as possible. Oh! Pull? You may hear what sounds to a human like a cannibal scream, but rest assured, while robots... Oh my god! Please locate and press the button marked Robot Repair. Holy fucking shit! 
See, it's one thing to see these characters outside of a game, or to see them in a game, but to actually see them standing in front of you, it really looks like that's right there. That is so hard to describe. And I really wish I could describe it. Um, I'm going to fix these so it's more focused. Because right now, th things are a slight bit blurry. Holy fuck! That is so cool. It's so highly detailed. Locate and press the button. Like, this shit has, like, a little shine on it. Okay, locate and press the button. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the button. Nothing's working. Hello? Press button. I'm pressing the button. Uh, nothing's working. Robot repair. Press button. Press the button, Mark. Robot repair. I'm trying my best. It don't work. What do I do? It's not working for me. Maybe if I go over this side. Step two. I did it. Locate half inch board number 35 pitch bracket for amp load motor D and disengage it from the appropriate linear actuator. Unless it's um, a ion reactor is uncoupled from anodized voltage axis circle bracket 733E and only if oxidization valves A, C, F, and H1, but not H3. What? Asymmetric to turbo pump exhaust manifold case. Oh my god. Oh my god. Up to 30 seconds. At which point the thermal reactor currently uncoupled is changing it. Well, that's it. Holy fucking shit, dude. Oh god, hit my wall. That is so bonkers. That is so cool! 15 seconds. 15 seconds maximum deployed. Oh god, am I supposed to be doing something? Increased heart rate detected. Ocean sounds um, maximum deployed. What do we do? Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Keep spinning. There we go. Did I do it? Stop, please. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa, 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 no, no, oh, no, don't do that to me, oh, no, 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 oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus, give me the floor again, please, oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't believe it, what kind of robot can't have oh, a simulus, oh, it's you. Congratulations on your quota filling promotion, by oh the way. My God. You've opened all our eyes to what humans can You're achieve when you give our tiny little minds to it. Repair station recycling initiate. For your own safety, please vacate this station immediately. Don't listen to him, you'll be fine. Also, I... let's be honest. Your first day's been a bit of a disaster. It's probably not the worst thing if you Oh can. my god! I am fucking losing my mind right now! Let us! Where'd you go? Repair station recycling in progress. <laughs> what do we do? Am I still I in camera? You to know, at I first so. I was against this human diversity outreach program. But now, watching you flail around like a sweaty pile of ham, I see <laughs> I was wrong. It's hilarious. Where do we go? Honestly, I think you're overqualified for robot repair. I've got a better assignment for you. Repair station recycling. Complete. Oh my god, this Thank place is huge! That's a recording. He has to say that. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye? Oh. Oh no! Oh god! Is that it? Oh god, oh god, oh god. No thanks. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Holy fuck! Cause, oh, that is so hard to describe in words. I'm sorry, I wasn't even saying a whole lot and then I was talking over what they were saying. I didn't mean to. Um, it was just a load of um, uh, bits and pieces of funny, very funny dialogue. Um, okay, I'm not gonna talk into this camera, I'm gonna talk into this camera. So, like the idea was that the robot came in, Atlas came in and I had to repair him, but... I thought the cable was moving. But when he came in then, I didn't do it properly. So then he fell off and died. But to see, like, the stuff, because again, I've played Oculus Rift games where stuff looks like it's right in front of you. But this felt like it was right in front of me. Like, I was able to walk around it. Being able to put your hand through it then was really bizarre. Because you go over and you're able to touch the wall, and it's actually like a physical boundary in the game as well. And then you go over and touch, because you trace out your, your play space with the controller. So then the game is like, oh, this is as far as you're able to go in this scenario when you walk around. So to be able to actually walk around in the game and then hit all the barriers, and then to see stuff flow through you and be able to 
like move it around with your own hands that is insane that's exactly what I th uh, what VR should be that kind of experience that really sold me on that now because I had tried it and I set up um, I did like the little tutorial to set up the room and everything but I didn't play any games because I wanted to save my reaction for a video um, and the thing had me like popping balloons like balloons were coming out of the top of the controllers and they floated off the air and I could hit them and when I was hitting them I hit the bulb in my room and it almost smashed it, it was that convincing and like you can walk over and touch the walls and everything in it as well um, but like when you play games and you see these characters in the game or whatever and you're going around and you can kind of sense the scale of them in real life but to actually see their physical limits come in on top of you like Atlas is much rounder, much wider, much bigger than I thought he was um, and this gives you an a, a exact perfect scale as to what he would be like if he was there in front of you and then to see GLaDOS come down like that because we all know that she's huge and that she's a big giant robot and she comes down out of nowhere all the time but to see her right there in front of you she is menacing her head is like the size of in front of a car and it's like sitting there right in front of you that's scary um, oh my god that was mind blowing oh for such a small little demo I, I don't know, I don't know, was that fun to watch? I have no idea, I don't even know if I was like in the cameras or if stuff was recording properly I'm actually going to turn off this camera right now Hi Um But I, oh That was cool Because like, another thing as well with the Oculus Rift is that you have to sit down and play the games and you're like looking around, you're playing roller coasters and that and it's cool but it doesn't, it, you still feel like you're in a game that when you're doing it because you can't, you can only move your head like this but you can't like get up and walk away because then it loses the tracking but for this to track the entire room and to be able to walk around that space and then to have controllers that actually feel like they work properly they're not just some tacked on like Razor Hydra kind of thing where they're they kind of work but they kind of don't these are perfectly accurate oh my I really wish people could experience that for themselves that is absolutely mind-boggling I'm so happy about that. I can't wait to try out more stuff. The more stuff came with it, more um, VR demos. So I'm going to try out those again. I'm not, I'm not paid to play any of these, by the way. I'm not paid. This is not sponsored or anything. I was just very lucky enough to be able to get one of these early um, and try it out for myself just to see what it was like. And I, I kind of feel like I have to say that it's not sponsored because if people see you play stuff early, especially games that other people don't really have yet then they kind of think that it's sponsored so I'm, I'm not I'm not being paid to play any of this stuff I'm literally just this happy about it because I'm a big VR enthusiast and I really want VR to do well and I want to see more experiences I want to see like fighting games I want to see games where I can flap as a bird or that kind of stuff and the rift was good for it so far but it was very unconvincing at times and stuff in the distance was very hard to see this is phenomenal and that demo really went well with it so I'm gonna try out some other stuff soon Expect more videos with the the Vive, I was going to say the Rift, or the Vive. Um, expect more videos of that soon, I really want to see what it looks like in other games, because that was really impressive. <laughs> but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And high fives all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! Let's go! Why don't I have books? Whoa! You moved? You were collapsed in the other version of the game. You were just on the ground collapsed to climb. Now you moved? Man, I'm quite worked up after that now. My heart was actually beating. Seeing him barrel towards you like that. Oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing some horror games with that.